it will be if I can get it out. I, I don't even want to deliver the news. That's how bad it is. <laughs> uh, the high pressure in place over Labrador, the Arctic high pressure, versus all of that warm moisture coming in from, uh, from the Gulf and from the Atlantic Ocean. And there's going to be a huge clash in temperatures and also with the moisture and the way that the jet stream is configured. So we could be looking at an extensive period of icing in New Brunswick. Current conditions right now, we have a lot of zeros here across eastern Canada, two in Ottawa and in Toronto. Winnipeg at minus 20. We're going to warm it up a little bit for the eastern prairies tomorrow. And it's still cloudy along the B.C. coast, but warm. There's actually a tornado watch in place for Houston. Lots of delays, airport delays in Dallas and Houston right now. That's really where the core of the low is. And it's moving up the jet stream in the coming day. Right now, a blizzard warning still remains. That's from the departing low pressure system in Labrador. So we should be through this by later through the overnight. We have another system over northern Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Doesn't bring a lot two to four centimeters of snowfall. Certainly cloud cover will increase Friday morning into the Saskatchewan-Manitoba border region and Winnipeg could see some of those flurries and light snow through Brandon, Portage, La Prairie by later in the day. But not looking at a lot of wind.